Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my holy grail foundations for dry skin. So I have quite a few foundations within my collection, but these are just my holy grail foundations. The ones that I love the most, the ones that I reach for the most, and the ones that I will continue to repurchase over and over again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I have some from MAC, I have some from NARS, and I have one from the drugstore. So the first foundation I'm going to mention is going to be the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. This color is NC50. This is a full coverage foundation. Now I don't suffer with a lot of acne and I don't have a lot of blemishes on my face but if you are looking for full coverage and you suffer with dry skin I would definitely say try out the, the MAC Studio Scope. Now sometimes this foundation can appear too cakey if you use too much of it but just a light uh, application will be able to cover any imperfections that you have I don't use it as much because it's inside of the drawer and I always forget about this foundation so I would definitely say uh, check out the Maddie the Mac the Mac studio scope foundation so the next foundation that I have is from NARS and it is my beloved all-time favorite forever repurchased NARS Sheer Glow. The color that I have this one in is in uh, Makayo Medium Dark 4. I don't use this foundation much because it is expensive. But when I do wear this foundation, I never have gotten so many compliments when it comes to this foundation. It's of a full of coverage. It sits and it blends so smoothly and nice on the skin. I absolutely love it. As long as they don't change the formula in this foundation, I will continue to repurchase this foundation. This is a holy grail foundation forever. So the next foundation that I have is from MAC Cosmetics. And it is going to be their MAC Match Master Foundation. The color that I have this one in is in 7.5. And just in case I forgot to mention, in MAC, I'm equivalent to NC50. This foundation is another holy grail foundation. I love this foundation. Now, it has its pros and it has its cons, but it really doesn't keep me from wearing it. Actually, that is the foundation that I am wearing today so um what i love about this foundation is definitely the color selection this foundation runs really really deep so if you are of a deeper skin tone i'm quite sure you would be able to find a shade that best matches you um it also is a little bit orange but it seems to oxidize um on my face once i set it you know i highlight i contour and i set it on my face and it lasts a really really long time so Definitely a holy grail product for me. Definitely something that I will really repurchase again. So moving on to the drugstore spectrum. The next, the next foundation that I have is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is another holy grail from the drugstore, affordably priced. Um, the color that I have this one in is in C6 Cool. Now this one is more of a medium coverage Although I love um, full coverage, I can get away with a medium coverage. Really, really nice. This foundation is one of those foundations that you can build up on, just in my opinion, if you do have kind of blemishes and, and um, acne prone skin. But if you are oily, I would tell you to be aware of this foundation. This one is... Is top notch. It just has of a higher quality foundation, and it just so happens to be my favorite foundation from the drugstore. I definitely have repurchased for me. Last but not least is going to be my Mac Mineralized Found Mineralized Moisture Foundation. I really, really love this foundation as well. I typically use this foundation in the deep of the winter time only because it's, it's mineralized. So it has like a, 
a lot of oils in it. So needless to say, sometimes this foundation can become a little bit too luminous in compared to the um, True Match Lumi. And sometimes I have to find myself having to take a matte foundation just to tone down the mineralized finish that it gives. But it is one of my favorite foundations and one of them that I will continue to repurchase. The shade that I have this one in is in NC50. Check it out, dry skin. Um, I've had this for a while, so I'm not sure of the color range in this selection. I know that Jacqueline Hill um, wears this foundation as well. So definitely one of my holy grail, not my favorite, but I will definitely continue to repurchase um, this foundation. So there you have it, loves. Those are my holy grail foundations. Definitely let me know what you think. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And until my next video, loves, I will talk to you loves later. Bye, guys.